All right, Kimberly, how long have you been teaching here in this preschool class? I started at the YMCA in 1986, so I've been here for 30 years. And, and you've been teaching four and five year olds? Um, we've, we've got three different classes. We have the Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, which is our threes and fours. Then we have a Tuesday, Thursday morning, which is three-year-olds. And then we have the afternoon class, which is fours and fives. And I'm involved in all three classes. And tell us about what a typical day looks like for you guys. Well, generally the children come, um, the morning classes all start at nine o'clock. And they start out coming into the room, um, kind of getting ready for the day. Um, and then different days we have different events. So like once a week they go for a 45 minute structured swim lesson, which is one on one. That includes, that's because of state licensing. So um, once a week they have that. Um, they also have gym, generally um, around 9.15 in the morning that they go to the gym and they do some running, they play some games, they learn about nutrition um, and they learn about stretching and things like that. Um, we come back and we have circle time where we sing songs, we talk about the alphabet, we talk about colors, shapes, other things that we're going to work on for the day. Uh, we do the calendar, we have stories, um, and then from there we have a snack time, and then they have craft time, and then a free choice where they get to go anywhere in the room that they'd like to play. So um, each day is a little different depending upon what other activities come in, but generally we just try and really have a good time while learning. I think learning is, is supposed to be fun and that's what we're out to do. And you're teaching positive behaviors, correct? That's a part of your curriculum? Correct. Tell us about that. How do you do that? Well, instead of um, being negative, we usually try and talk about what why they're having the behavior, what we could do to change the behavior, things like that. We try and get them involved in that. Um, so it's their decision and, and we talk about what they're doing rather than um, turning it into something where they're being punished in a timeout or something like that. Sometimes we have to make use of that thinking chair so that they have some time to think about what they're doing and then we come back and we still talk about what's going on and how they could have handled the situation differently. And how has this approach been different compared to maybe using discipline? Um, well, in all my years here, we've never been able to use discipline um, as far as, as punishment like that. Um, it's just, it gives them a better feeling about themselves because we want them to feel empowered in, their, in what they can do and that they can handle a situation rather than striking out or doing something that maybe is not a behavior that we want. The kids come here very excited. We saw that this yes. afternoon because you guys also have an afternoon class yes. as well. Talk to us about a few of your students. Let's talk about little, who was sitting over there? Oh, must have been Joe. Joe, he did that little fist pump with me. Right. So let's talk about little Joe. Um, Joe is, is an only child, so he brings a little more challenge because he's not used to the social aspects of preschool. And it, a lot of preschool has to be social, it's learning to get along. Because kindergartens have changed so much, there isn't as much socialization as there was in the past. There's a lot more learning, they're learning to read right away and things like that. So we have to handle the social aspects as well. So if a child doesn't come from a family where there's other brothers and sisters and they're around that all the time. They have to learn sharing. They have to learn taking turns. And so for somebody like Joe, that might be a little more complicated because he is used to not having to wait, not having to share. Things are his, and so, you know, he has that going. So. And who is this little guy? Is he Aiden over here? Who, who is this little guy sitting in Aiden, yes, talk to us about him. He's so cute. Uh, <laughs> Aiden is cute. Aiden, Aiden is very empowered. He is very confident in himself and what he can do. And he is, he has got a couple older siblings in the family as well as a younger brother. So he comes from a family where he's a little more used to the social and having to wait his turn and have to vie for mom and dad's attention and stuff like that. So, and being cute sometimes in the family when you're more of a middle child, so to speak, um, will get him the attention. And so he, he knows how to pull the cute card. <laughs> All these kids do, yeah, that's for sure. I'm gonna see what else. All right, so you have 
fun and fitness, which is also part of your curriculum. Talk right. to us about that. What are the kids doing in the gym? Well, in the gym right now, um, she did some warm-ups and some stretches, and then she had some shopping carts where she had them run down, and they had to pick up five balls and bring them back. And then the second time they went through the relay, she had fruits and vegetables on the floor. So they were going to have to pick up two of the fruits and vegetables and three of the balls. So they had to remember the number, so they were doing some counting. And um, a lot of times, some children learn better through movement and um, this helps them to learn their counting and things like that and they're putting it together with movement. So they're also learning about the nutritional value of like fruits and vegetables. And I know I've heard Miss Jean a lot of times talk to the kids about like um, what they had for lunch and if they had fruits and vegetables then they can run faster than she can because she had chocolate or she had cake or she had <laughs> something like that. So she's teaching them that the fruits and the vegetables are, are things that are important in your life and that you need those for the energy rather than quick sugars. Yeah, and the health curriculum, that's a, your, the health curriculum is a big part of your curriculum and preschool program. Yes. And not every preschool program has that. No. So, so why was that important for the, the, for the Y to include that? Well, the YMCA is, is on health and fitness, and we're out to teach not only children to health and fitness, but also adults. So the YMCA is open to that throughout um, the whole building and we're encouraging that throughout the whole building and then they get extra every week with the swim program which like I said is a one-on-one. -on -one. Good. Are they out there right now? Uh, yeah, okay they are. Um, just let me do one more here. Um, I think that's I think that's good. What, what skills are you teaching? Okay let me, let me start that over. Okay. What skills are you teaching the four and five-year-olds? Well, for the four and fives, we're working on them writing and learning to do some of that kind of thing and getting control over small hand motor. Um, we're also working on coloring and cutting. Um, so today, like, they will be working on the letter D. So we've been doing dinosaurs this week. Um, and they'll be putting a, dinos a D dinosaur together as well as um, I have a puzzle for them to put together today that has numbers. So we're going to be working on numbers. And then at... Um, on our um, carpet time, we've been working on learning the continents as well as um, doing some of the things of zoophonics. And I'm not, I don't know if you are aware of zoophonics, but zoophonics is a program that came out years ago that, that rather than focusing on the letter itself, we're working on the phonics of the, the, the letters. So um, instead of working on A, we're working on that A says A. Ah. So it comes, it all moves together. Like I said, movement and music work, or movement works together. So we have a symbol and it's alley alligator. So alley alligator says A. Ah. Yeah, so we're putting it all together. So there's a whole zoophonic song that goes together, and each letter has a an animal symbol as well as the phonic sound.